Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to get the best quality of your songs that you listen to on your computer. So I suggest getting Winamp. Uh, it will be the first link and it looks something like this. It's just like iTunes or Windows Media Player. It's a media player. And the first link in the description will send you to this page here if you don't want to click on the link you can just click type in download winamp and it's a first link there and here you can either pay for it twenty dollars i guess it gives you a bunch of other stuff which i really don't care about you, or you can just download the free version which is what i did so once you download it you can run it install it and once it's installed there should be an icon that looks like this on your desktop so once you open it the thing the player looks like this without this one here it's called an enhancer which is a plugin for Winamp which you can get from the second link in the description which will send you to this one uh... this i don't know how i found it but just click on the link um, so you can just click download and then if you're using windows vista or xp like not XP, Windows Vista or Windows 7 like myself then you will have to right click on the program and click on run as administrator or else this plugin won't install so once you have the plugin installed open up Winamp again and click on options preferences once this pops up scroll to the bottom if not already scrolled and click on DSP effect DSP slash effect and here you'll see Enhancer 0 0.17. Click on it and then you might get a message saying error reading it. Just click OK and this thing should pop up. So I'm just going to close that for now. And once the Enhancer is opened, here you can actually select whatever song you want to play double by double clicking it. And I'm just going to stop it for now. And then set the settings to whatever sounds the best to you so volume probably at 10 and yeah here's the drum bass the harmonic bass range the drum bass range and the dry signal and yeah you can just play around with these if you want and if you don't like to play around with them and also oh forget uh, don't forget to click on boost which will give you extra bass boost I think and if you don't like to play around you can click on presets and click normal it really sets to you and click on the one you like click on load and then it's gonna set you set it for you so drum boost click load and then this is the best settings for a drum boost or let's say you want extreme bass boost then click on load and it should this is probably the best setting for extreme bass boost but I don't like using them cuz I don't know I like setting it to whatever sounds best for me so that this will make your audio much more enjoyable way better than iTunes or anything else or using this EQ right here so uh, that's about it for this video uh, on how to make your songs music whatever you're listening to a better quality so thanks for watching i hope this helped links are in the description please rate comment and subscribe see you next time